Okay, um, just to, in, in my defense, I thought that it was recording that whole time. Um, but it wasn't. Yeah, so I'm gonna catch you up to speed on some stuff. Uh, we got, uh, 3D level farm. I'm actually, I don't even know what I've done since the last episode. I think the last episode I made the lake. So this is probably new. Um, I made a three-decker farm. I got carrots in the top, carrots in the bottom, wheat and pumpkins in the middle. And, uh, I don't know, the wheat and pumpkins are just for breeding purposes. That over there is my younger brother's house. He decided he wanted to move towards that lake because we built that whole lake up there. And uh, then realized there was one right behind us. <laughs> and so he just... Those things are looking at me now. Um, and so he just went over there. Because that lake, it looks a lot better and it's bigger and I mean. So that means that up there is now vacated as well as this, which he decided to build. Um, my sister has moved into here. Wait, do you know that he... I don't even know what I've updated. Timothy went from here... Up to there, lived in there. I think I said this in the last video, and then now he vacated there and went to there. So I'm hoping he just stops making a city out here. Um, but it's whatever. So my sister moved in there. She doesn't play much, but she does sometimes. It's whatever. That's up there is vacant. Uh, nothing's changed up by the lake really. There's a little bit of a trading post that's been dismantled partly. Some trees that I use the shears to get some leaves off of. Um, farm already covered that. Oh, oh. Okay, there we go. Last time I made this drop, something fatal happened. Um, okay, got some stuff here. I got I got killed by a creeper. Um, I got some of this stuff here. Let's see here. Dog. I have like four or five dogs now. They don't follow me, so I just have them everywhere. Um, I <laughs> decorated. I did air quotes, but you can't tell. I decorated a little bit in here. Got a table. Got my bedroom going. Again, I don't really know what I did last time. I got some extra stone. Oh, those ones are all empty. Extra stone stuff. My bed, the diadem yellow. Because it's an easy guy to get. I got my awesome doggy. The view, all that. Come down here. I did this floor. This floor is all storage. And um, I got some sheep just because they were around and I've been dying them. The blue one is obviously the leader. Um, I don't know what to do with these guys yet. I was debating like breeding them. Oh, and that weird like snorting you hear is this foxes. They despawn for a little. Is that guy with something in his mouth? He's got third. What the heck, man? They despawn for a little bit, but they we've been trying to tame them and get them all uh, worked out. So anyway, we got all of our storage right in here. I should put iron in there. All of our storage is in here. We got this thing, which is an item elevator. Oh, it worked. We got all of it up. Oh wait, just kidding. We're missing like 30 raw chicken. That's a problem. Um, this goes all the way down to the mine, I put stuff in it, and it just brings it all the way up. Got some furnaces with nothing in them, because I haven't used them yet. More storage, tools. Uh, that's just there for looks. Right here we got, let's see, okay, what's changed? Um, this has, I got rid of the chicken, chicken farm for the eggs, and I, because it was so loud, I d went down. And I, um, I made it down here. Now, this is a long story, um... So it, oh my goodness, a lot of them died. So I had this whole thing built, and obviously used YouTube and everything to get it going. I had just had the lava in there as a solid, it was just there, it never got dispensed or undispensed or anything like that. And I just, it wasn't working, I got like one cooked chicken a day, and that was it. So I came back in, I had to clear out all the chickens, um, because they were breaking out. I had to kill all of these ones, which is why I got so much feathers and raw chicken, because I actually just finished. Clear out this little room in here, and then I got this guy who's laying eggs. That's cute. I should get a thing to fix that because that's gonna annoy me. This guy is a random chicken something something something. So what he does is he'll eventually walk onto that pressure plate, and that pressure plate will activate that dispenser, which has a lava bucket in it, which will kill any grown chickens, which will cook them and drop them in there. And then eventually he'll meander back onto that pressure plate, which will suck the lava back up, which is where it is right now. I got soul sand because. As what happened when I wasn't recording, I built another portal. I was just using lava buckets and water, and this is actually a second layer I added just for a little bit of, I don't know, something to make it look cool. I went to the nether. I didn't do anything there. I just got some magma blocks, some soul sand. I think they're stored right here. Nope, they're not. Got some soul sand, some nether rock, some quartz, some glowstone. That's it. Um, I moved my bedroom from here. So let's just sit in the room now. It's the storage closet for all purposes. Uh, the mine got super re-looked. Like, it's honestly still confuses me. Um, 
You used to go down this like a spiral staircase, but now down there is this. So when you come down here, you got this dropper, which is facing upwards, and it just, this is the redstone clock, I think is what it's called. I don't remember. So if I put a full stack of raw chicken in there, it dispenses it one by one up this solid blocks of stuff, and it just floats up the top. This is where my mine is, and I haven't actually made any progress on the mine, just because I was doing this the whole time. So I put a full stack in, let's see if it all comes out. Getting up is kind of... Wait, what just happened? What? You can go in one blocks now? Alright, we're over the top. So, hopefully... I just picked it up. That's another problem that I keep having, is the hopper doesn't pick up everything that gets stuck beneath it. Right down in there. So there'll just be random stuff floating right down in there. Well, the hopper picked that one up. But the hopper will pick it up and put it in this chest. So, as you saw, there was 58. But I put in a whole stack, so six of them was just stuck down there. So if I don't come up here and collect eventually, I'll lose it all. But another important thing that happened, I got diamonds. Which is why my mine looks like that now, because I figured now that I got a, di a mine that reaches down to diamond level, I'll be mining more. Um, yeah, I got some more redstone, some more whatever. That's about it. I still want to do a cow farm or a sheep farm. I want to do a cow and a sheep farm. Oh, that's right. I got my cows trapped in my farm. Just because I know where else to put them. Just like how the sheep are in my basement right now. Huh. Um, oh, wait. Whoa! 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 I can walk around and stuff like this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I can't see anything. Can I... So, hold on. Oh! Hey, yo, Mr. Creeper. Oh my gosh. 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 I'm bad. Run! Uh. Okay. So, does this picture look familiar? It should if you watched the end of the last episode. Last episode, I asked for anybody to give me any suggestions on where I should build the cow farm and, and or sheep farm and or whatever. And I was kind of rambling on about it, so I really don't blame you if you weren't watching the whole thing. But, now I need to know, and I'm not about to build anything until you guys tell me, and you can see over there, the cow is just chilling in my farm, in the water elevator, waiting for a home. So this this is really on you guys. As you guys just heard me ramble on about, I am, uh, I am uh, debating where to put my cow farm. Now, here's the thing. You guys were cruel enough to decide that he should be homeless... Forever. So, and because he's messing up my camera shot, look at this. The see, I can't. This isn't my fault. This, this is, this is your fault. And uh, by this, I mean this. So, if you feel bad about that, tell me where to build the dang farm. Thank you. Come again. Now I want you guys to look at this too. I have three cows down here. Well, now I have four. Shush. I have three beautiful cows down here, and he. Has to be stuck alone because I had to kill poor old Jeffrey up in the elevator. Just, just pick a, just, just say something. Just, just say something. All right, so I had my mic muted accidentally again when I recorded this little uh, bit here, but ultimately what I was saying is that I was uh, astonished because I had done the AFK fish farming. For, I mean, not 16 hours, but until my fishing rod broke, um, which really wasn't long. It filled up this bottom chest with this right here. Got a name tag, finally got sharpness, which isn't really what I was hoping for, but it's something. Um, you know, it, it really, I honestly didn't think it was going to work at all, let alone actually yield quite a bit of results. So, I'm impressed that that all actually came together. And the reason I do have two fishing poles that are both pretty full health, even though I just finished 16 hours of doing it, is because my brother had given me two... Uh, right before I got back on, because I had left the server running on my computer while I was gone. So, right here, what I'm doing is I'm down in the chicken farm again, and I have tweaked it just slightly so that way the pressure plate doesn't just dispense lava. I have created a rising edge monostable circuit. Um, at least I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I, I watched way too many hours of mumbo jumbo stuff to figure this out. Um, in my mind, it was just going to send that one tick through the gravel block into the repeater, into the dispenser which was going to solve all my problems for the lava being dispensed for too long. But really, it hasn't done anything for me. I just put way too much time and effort into making this all. 
and uh, really got, you know, nothing out of it other than, I mean, I, I guess at this point it's my most sophisticated redstone contraption I've ever built on an actual survivor world, because I hated redstone back when I played it when I was like eight, so, you know, it makes sense that this is now the most sophisticated redstone thing I have. Now you might notice as I come up through here, uh, there's no, there's no sheep. Don't worry, I know where they are. I will show you. They're right over here. Oh, look at that. They're in a hole in the ground next to the cows. Now, if you have any sort of memory, you can recall what I've been saying, you know, roughly uh, this entire episode about the cows and the sheep and how they're homeless. Anyways, I'm going to kill all the sheep and the cows with this bucket. I'm going to fill it with lava. I'm going to kill them all. So, if you don't give them, if you don't tell me where to build the house and they stay homeless, I'm just gonna kill all of them. So, you know, this is really on you. I don't know why I'm viciously staring at my dogs like this, or why I just threw the bucket. But on that fun note, I am just gonna bid you adieu. Toodles.